It is the first time the portrait of the patron saint of lovers, who was beheaded for defending romance some 1,700 years ago, has been revealed. Scientists digitally mapped the holy man's face using an ancient skull and 3D interactive technology. Computer graphic designer Cicero Morris unveiled the romantics reconstruction in time for Valentine's Day. Mr. Morris, who is based in Sinop, West Central Brazil, said, This has been an exciting, complicated and rare project to do. It's not often that you get access to a precious, and suitably relevant relic like this. We were fortunate to be in the right place at the right time. We worked on this project for three months and unveiling St. Valentine's face now, is a timely reminder of why this dedicated day of affection first started. Our work also gives the world a visual reference of who we should be thanking for the celebration. Lyra, who is also president of the Brazilian Academy of Hagiology, has worked with Moras on the reconstruction of the faces of Mary Magdalene and St. Pauline of Brazil, among others. He was in Rome last October on a separate project when he stumbled across the opportunity. I was in St. Peter's Square when one of the many sellers there gave me a picture of St. Valentine, recalled Lyra who is normally based in Serre, Northeast Brazil. I took it as a sign to see if I could get unthinkable, close-up access to the skull in the basilica. The chance to do the facial reconstruction of one of the Roman Catholic Church's most important and venerated relics has been a lifelong dream, he said. As it happens, Dean of the Church, Father Mtanius Haddad, was keen to authorize the procedure. In an unprecedented move the church closed its doors to the public and for 40 minutes, Lyra had exclusive access, but couldn't remove the skull from its resting place. Photos of the relic, which was found during the excavation of a catacomb in Rome in the early 1800s, show the limited view of the object. Lyra sent 250 snaps to Moras who whittled them down to 43. The graphic designer used photogrammetry and spatial scaling software to map and build a 3D skull. Machado forensically analyzed the 3D virtual head, and confirmed the ancestry, sex and age without knowing who it was. From his observations, he said, it was that of a mature man. He analyzed aspects such as the projected glabella, area between the eyebrows and above the nose, the sloping forehead, prominent superciliary arches, eyebrow ridge, blunt orbital ridges, located around the eye sockets, and the massive mastoid process, the temporal bone behind the ear. Who of the object? Lyra sent 250 snaps to Moras who whittled them down to 43. The graphic designer used photogrammetry and spatial scaling software to map and build a 3D skull. Machado forensically analyzed the 3D virtual head and confirmed the ancestry, sex and age without knowing who it was. From his observations, he said, it was that of a mature man. He analyzed aspects such as the projected glabella, area between the eyebrows and above the nose, the sloping forehead, prominent superciliary arches, eyebrow ridge, blunt orbital ridges, located around the eye sockets, and the massive mastoid process, the temporal bone behind the ear. It was determined by dental development. However, Machado admitted, a complete analysis was difficult because only a small front section of the skull could be captured by photogrammetry. So, we needed to fill in the gaps. But given that they were unable to handle the skull, this is the best anyone is likely to do for now said the researchers. Morris used another skull chosen for its compatibility, from a 3D digital library, to complete St. Valentine's cranium. He then set about digitally adjusting and adding the anatomical details, placing soft tissue, muscle and cartilage using measurements gathered from hundreds of middle-aged men of the same ancestry, to sculpt the face. Compatibility, from a 3D digital library, to complete St. Valentine's cranium. He then set about digitally adjusting and adding the anatomical details, placing soft tissue, muscle and cartilage using measurements gathered from hundreds of middle-aged men of the same ancestry, to sculpt the face. He said, 
The video illustrates a process called Retopa which uses 3D mesh sculpting on the base of the face, and data processing to build up all the other features. St. Valentine's final look is based on skeletal, scientific and historical research and draws on years of my experience, explained Moraz, adding his involvement in the project is ironic. Brazil doesn't celebrate Valentine's Day in February. The country's carnival festivities dominate the calendar around this time of year, and the equivalent day known as Dia dos Namorados is June 12th. This year, I'm going to celebrate it with the rest of the world to mark the historic discovery, said Morris, while acknowledging at least two other ancient holy men are said to lay claim to being Saint Valentine. But, Morris dismissed the notion confidently, we firmly believe we've uncovered the face of the real patron saint of love, and unveiled much of what he looked like when he was alive. Twelfth, said Morris, while acknowledging at least two other ancient holy men are said to lay claim to being Saint Valentine. But, Morris dismissed the notion confidently, we firmly believe we've uncovered the face of the real patron saint of love, and unveiled much of what he looked like when he was alive. Real patron saint of love, and unveiled much of what he looked like when he was alive. Live.